back to the Capitol, Congress could be the new referee for college sports. You know, we've got a lot of interest in that right here. We've got the SWAC here at the SEC. We've got a lot of other conferences that's right at their fingertips. Well, California has already passed a law that says NCAA players can make endorsements or merchandise uh, for merchandise without risking their scholarships. Scholarships are in el or eligibility for that matter, too. As 12 News' Jesse Tenor reports, dozens of other states could follow its lead. The NCAA is late to this game. Senator Richard Blumenthal says the NCAA, which makes about a billion dollars a year, has dropped the ball and should be compensating student athletes. The present state of college sports is exploitive. To make the NCAA act faster, Blumenthal wants more states to pass laws like California's, allowing athletes to profit off their names, images, and likenesses. Ramogi Huma with the National College Players Association is behind many of these proposals. College athletes shouldn't be forced to sacrifice their economic freedom and rights. Huma told a Senate committee Tuesday it's a job the states can handle. But NCAA President Mark Emmert wants a uniform standard. Different laws from various states will create an uneven and unfair playing field for our schools and student athletes. The NCAA's three divisions house more than a thousand schools and nearly half a million student athletes. Members of Congress are working on multiple ways to develop federal legislation. Including former Ohio State football player Congressman Anthony Gonzalez. An award-winning full scholarship chemist can accept any financial rewards that may come her way, but the fastest runner on the track team cannot. But athletic conferences, college sports is not a vocation, and senators, to make sure that no one is left out, still haven't settled on the right solution, as the NCAA's biggest moneymaker, March Madness, is sure to bring even more attention to the issue. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Well, again, we have several collegiate conferences represented right here in the Magnolia State. Of course, we've been following this story. So to find out what we found out, head to our website, wjtv.com, and you simply type in NCAA or college athlete into the search bar at the top right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll find a comprehensive list of stories on that page of what our reporters and sports people have come up with.